Furious request, the Sussex's maid speaks out. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you everyone for liking, subscribing and hi to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I've got the Gossip Housewife Tarot on the table and I have a viewer's request. So let's get started. Cards, viewer's request. Could you do a reading please on the member of staff at Montecito who's spoken out about the bullying and aggression Megan shows to Harry and staff? Please refer to Paula M. Okay, let's go allegedly and entertainment purposes only because these questions are getting um yeah a little bit heavy and and rightly so and good question. So, um, Paula M. Uh, for people who don't know is a YouTuber. Um, she had a maid uh, allegedly contact her and she did an interview. Now the reason why this is and this was um. I, don't, I think it was a couple of weeks ago. By the time that this gets up and running, it would be a couple of weeks, I should imagine, because of all the other readings uh, that I've had. And I also had to find time to see that reading. But when I was searching it, then, of course, um, there was another reading. Um, sorry, there was another uh, YouTuber out there, um, HE Tudor, debunking things. So I wanted to see that as well. Now, I'm not going to put any YouTuber down, none at all. So it's entirely up to you, you know, do your own research and everything like that. I'm just reading on the maid, okay, um, or the staffer or the worker, depending on where you come from. Um, I do believe she was employed as a maid. Now, while I'm getting the energies around, um, I'll show you a little bit of information about what's being said uh, up in the drop box, uh, oh, sorry, up in the drop down. Um, yeah, I'll just, you know, again, do your own research. Uh, we just want to know about, um, yeah, I do believe that uh, one of the questions were um, that was thrown at Paula because she has done a couple of things since then. She's had some lives and whatever because she got offended. And this is why I'm not going to go into that. But I do believe that um, one of the things someone has said that uh, the maid did go to uh, mainstream media and they didn't want to know about it. They didn't want to touch her because, and that was in another reading, that, um, yeah, there's no money involved because obviously the maid's not going to pay, right, you know? Um, so, yeah. Viewers request. How true is it? How true is it? That's why I got my housewife gossip cards out. Housewife gossip cards. Okay. And these are smaller, so I can put those there. Okay, so we've got the five of ones there. Uh, that's reverse. We've got the sun. We've got temperance. We've got the nine of wands, and we, we've got the tower. So oh, straight away, nine of wands here. One last battle. One last battle. Uh, it was all about um, blending and healing and mixing and and you know the, the even though you've got the tower here, it's still pretty. You know she wanted to shine the light on it. You know she wanted the truth to come out. Some sort of second chance. You know um, with the five of ones reversed, that you um, you know chaos and mayhem and bedlam and and it was all just. Uh, she didn't she didn't like what she saw let's put it that way because according to the cards and she wanted to you know let let it know when and yeah let's just go where, where we're going with this seven of swords two of cups ten of swords mm, okay she had one last battle but you know someone's ruined Someone's ruined. So I'm in a partnership here when with the mixing and the blending, some sort of partnership happening here. <sighs> Giving back. 
I guess, with the Seven of Swords. You know, the Seven of Swords is, is a trickster and a liar and, and a thief and a cheat and, you know, all things bad kind of thing, you know. Also, uh, strategy as well uh, is probably about the good thing, but there's strategic side of things and, and the purpose behind the, the strategy is not... a you know good intentions when it's reversed it's giving something back it's not taking it away so i would say that's what she's trying to do you know she's trying to yeah trying to uh, when you've got someone that's very very strategic she's trying to you know put the knife into it, you know, and reverse reverse the situation which is exactly what the the seven of swords is about Eight of Swords, all lots of words here. King of Cups. Mm. Well, that's stopping. I wonder if she that's the NDA that she had because she was bound and, and tied and, and as you can see even here, um, you know, she, she was tied to the job and she just thought, no. You know, screw it, kind of thing. <laughs> I think you're allowed to say that instead of the other word, and um, you know, start speaking out because again, we're talking words here. Um, the King of Cups is right. She's worried about this this King of Cups, and and this King of Cups is detached from his emotions when he's when he's reversed. He's um, you know, mentally not not doing very very well. So I wonder if he see if she sees Harry as the King of Cups, uh, because this one here, he likes to sit there with his beer, as you can see, um, you know, probably have a PlayStation in in uh, front of him, and I wonder if he sees she sees this. One last battle. Ah, there you go, Hermit. And justice, yeah, she wanted justice. She wants to justify Harry. We're talking the maid here. We're not talking about any YouTubers. We're talking the maid here. She wants justice for Harry. That's what she wants. She actually does feel sorry for him. I think that's, that's you know, how she was coming across too. Six of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Three of Swords, the world and the four of swords. Mm. Well, it's definitely unfair. With the six of pentacles reverses, that's that's just unfair. And also here, you know, not resting, not resting anymore, not not um, you know, going away kind of thing. Ending ending the betrayal. Maybe she was trying to sell. Maybe she was trying to sell, you know, this message. No, oh, let's just keep going. I don't think for one minute that any YouTuber paid. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not, like I said, I'm not reading about the YouTubers anyway. Um, Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, the Moon. Five of swords, there's more swords and judgment. Oh, there's another second chance. There's another second chance here. Praying for forgiveness. Putting something into action. There was some sort of decision. I think she may have thought that she had the world in her hands, you know, with the information that she she had. But that didn't happen. That deal didn't come off. It was all illusions and smoke screens. Maybe, maybe working, you know, because here's your, here's your feather duster here. Maybe working for, you know, the gruesome twosome. She thought it was, was fantastic. But it's all illusions and smoke screens and, and lies and, and BS because here again, you've got the five of swords, you know, and, and that's thinking that you've won the battle, but you're actually losing the war. So now she's looking for a second chance. I'll pull it one more time to see if we can get any more information. There's the King of Cups. There's the Knight of Cups. 
King of Swords, Six of Cups, Ace of Swords, and there are a lot of words, a lot of words. There's more swords. There's a lot. There's no money here. There's no money on the table. Maybe one little thing. I think she was trying, but I think she was shut down with a lawyer because you've got, a, you know, the King of Swords here reverse, shutting, shutting someone down. But she definitely wants to cut through the truth. Definitely wants to cut through the truth and have something, you know, that's been passed down and onwards kind of thing. You know, something from the past she wanted to, to make sure that, you know, the truth was heard. Because then you've got the queen. You, you've got the king and the queen here. So, you know, she's got a lot of um, negative swords here and um, they, they're very, they, they, can, they can really do some if she is discovered. If she is discovered, she's probably got a couple of people after her, maybe, maybe you know, on, on a legality side of things. I would say, is it true? Yeah, yes, yes, I would say. She, the maid, the worker, the staffer, she thinks what she's doing is a good thing to get the to get the word out. She feels sorry for Harry. According to the card, she feels sorry for Harry. Um, she is looking for some sort of second chance. Maybe she hasn't got a reference. Um, just putting it out there, you know, because there's a couple of second chances here. Maybe um, she hasn't got a reference, and and you know, she she needs some. I, I I don't know. It's all it's all a little bit nasty when it comes down here when you've got you know a lawyer, some sort of contract, some sort of NDA that was broken, and um, she, but she's she definitely wanted the truth to come out. Definitely wanted the truth to come out. So, yeah, there you go. I don't know what kind of answer you were looking for um, about the bullying side of things, uh, the aggression. Yeah, the aggression's there. It's pretty obvious, um, you know, with, with a lot of negative here. There's no immediate cards here um, referring to, you know, like there's no Queen of Wands, there's no... Um, yeah, there's n there's none of Megan's cards here. Um, just a lot of action, a lot of things that were were being said, and she does believe that what she said. Um, but I, I have a feeling that yeah, she might be ruined. Uh, but she definitely sees it, which is ironic. Sees Harry as as the King of Cups, detached from his emotions. So yeah, there you go. Well, I hope that answered your question um and yeah please do your own research and um yeah please like share and subscribe and i'll see you again soon bye